Well, speaking of magic, you know, you, you say you love that Chopin nocturne that was published so a couple decades after he died, mm -hmm. the Opus Posthumus. Mm -hmm. What drew you to that piece? Um, I don't know. I think um, one of them was just watching the movie The Pianist, um, and that that was like one of the central pieces, I think. In the That's movie. right, he plays it uh, more than once yeah. in that movie. Yeah. And so I think just watching that movie in general kind of really was a big kind of shock to me and I really was very much affected by that. And um, But then also just something that I'd been playing for a long period of time. Um, I think the first time was when I was like 11 or 12 and then um, I guess it's definitely grown within me. I, watch uh, videos of them on YouTube when I was like kind of 11 or 12. And although it does like the quality of the sound is nice, um, I don't know, I can't help but cringe a little bit <laughs> when I hear it. Because, well, can you start it for us? Sure, and, and yeah. So we can get it. Is so sad, but like yeah. so many of his pieces, he kind of falls into a dream right. in the middle of it. Yeah. Well, what's that opening about? I mean, he could um, have just started, couldn't he have, on, on the D-sharp? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's so simple, but uh, I feel like those beginning chords are kind of, uh, kind of alluding to like the kind of chorale um, kind of theme that he uses a lot throughout his pieces. Um, you really feel like, it's kind of like, a regular chord progression, but that kind of really puts um, some juice into it. And um, but I don't know, especially with like the repeat of it. When the first time it's like this very dark sound, but then the second time it's it's like a ghost of its uh, of what. Is I'm, there a deep sort of George Lee narrative that um, runs through this? Uh, not for me, but uh, I guess. Um, just that ghostliness and the repeat really kind of, I was really um, looking for, and then, which leads to kind of that opening first um, melody. And it kind of really sets it up very well. And uh, from there, it's, I mean, it's such a simple piece. Um, the Melodically, there's not much um, kind of embellishment, and it's just, such a simple basic melody, but I don't know, Chopin with his um, incredible writing, he's just able to make it um, sound so much with s such sorrow and... Such sorrow. At um, the end he does that upward scale and then it goes yeah, up a little further. Right. Could you play yeah, those? Yeah, sure. Well, that's heartbreaking. It's kind of surprising that the sun comes out at the very yeah, end, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I feel like, I guess in terms of a narrative, uh, I kind of imagine like Chopin at his deathbed and um, he's, 
I mean, it's very sorrowful and you kind of feel those, it's surrounded by a lot of tragedy, but then in the middle there's this um, major section um, and that you really feel um, kind of like that nostalgia and I, I imagine him kind of like thinking back to his earlier days to like the more um, happier kind of sunshine. Um, and then in the end, you kind of have this kind of like staircase to heaven kind of thing. And um, the that second hands, one, that second run, yeah. you really give us a, 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 a tug. Yeah, no, uh, that one, uh, I just feel like, especially because the scale goes all the way up, yeah. you really feel that kind of emotional um, upheaval there. That is, is one of the most emotional spots, yeah, I think, exactly. in the whole piece. Yeah.